Welcome, welcome one and all, Survivor All-Stars episode 15 is here, Alec. Coming down to the wire here, man. We're at the final five now. Bro. Yeah, this After is this, wild. We'll this four is left. insane. And uh, so what we're doing right now is we're going to do episode 15 this week, and then in a day for us, but a week from now, it'll be a big, I'm going to work do my best to get all of them out, like maybe one after the other, one day after the other. That'd six, be exciting. 16, 17, 18, the last three episodes, because mm. we got the finale, the reunion, and a special little episode they had for the season, which we'll talk about at the time. Yeah, because right. I don't know, and I don't know what that is, much like the how you kept the fact that they're doing All-Stars completely under wraps for me. Love that. It was really Love fun. Love that for you. All yeah, right. that's exciting. And unlike the trajectory of this these past couple of it's not too exciting, right? But mm. uh, hopefully something... We've been saying something's got to give, right? Something's, something's got to give, give, yeah. Um, I think it was um, it was Kathy. It was like seven and five. Uh, it's, it's our big, big, big votes. Yeah, super important. So now it's down to five. the power rankings we had that you had at the end of the last episode: Rob, Amber, Rob, Rupert, Amber, Tom, Rupert, Tom, Jenna. Jenna. Yeah. Which it's up in the air because you got. Robin Amber, a pair, Rupert and Jenna, yep. a pair, and Tom, by his lonesome, mm. it's going to come down to whether these pairs are going to stick together, or is one of them going to pick up Tom and take out one of the other pair? Yeah. That seems to be, th- th- there's the two options right now. Yeah, because like, I, I feel like almost one of the reasons why Rupert's just stuck with Jenna is because he, especially now, if he would to turn on her, she would not, and he ends up being in the final two. She feel like she would take that very personally and mm-hmm. would not vote for him. Yeah, she she's the kind of person that doesn't that doesn't necessarily seem like she's going to vote for her like logically. I mean, she even started beginning the beginning of the season. She was like, if it came between a winner and a non-winner, I just would vote for a non-winner every time, no matter what. And it was like, okay. yeah, yeah. It really like did not give you a good uh, taste in your mouth as soon as you got introduced to Jenna this season. Yeah, Jenna again. It was like, who are you again? He's like, okay, Jenna, the uh, nobody from Borneo, <laughs> wants to rid us of our, our winners. Yeah, that was awesome. Which, which making it this is, which is literally what this is made of. It's what dreams are made of in Survivor, <laughs> right? You have all these past winners duking it out, and yet yeah. that's not really quite what we got, especially now. Just, no, you know, we've but got we are down to the five best players that have ever played the game of Survivor: Rob, Amber, Rupert, Tom, and Jenna Lewis. That's yeah, I see, I would not, I would not say that. <laughs> <laughs> I would not say that, but uh. All right. Uh, so after this, we'll be left with four. So we're really getting down to it. So yeah, but Sheehan got voted out last time. She kind of knew it was coming. Yeah. Tried her best, but she knew there was writing was on the wall. The writing's on the wall um but uh anyway so she voted for amber because she was decided that she was going to cast her vote to the person that she thinks is the shrewdest playing the best game you gotta watch out for her she might win so yeah she's don't get distracted by the beautiful eyes yeah you want to like her she does have players she does have very pretty eyes as i as i said multiple times when we were talking about uh she's got great eyes honestly yeah it's something else Right. Um, <laughs> it's something else. Um, what else? Big Tom did. He won the immunity. Mm-hmm. But like, really, again, it was kind of uh, a lot of yada yada. You know, Shan's going home. Yada yada. Mm-hmm. So like, it didn't matter who won immunity unless Shan won it. Yeah, everyone. Everyone was also very annoyed with Jenna at the beginning. But this is true. I don't know. It could be fake drama. It could be fake news right there. Yeah. So. You know, no, I don't know. Rupert, Rupert's, Rupert's confessional saying, "I really regret being in an alliance with her." That felt that felt pretty genuine. Yeah, <laughs> but at this point, we're so far in. Yeah, like, it's like they've been a solid pair the whole time. Yeah, it's pretty rough. So it comes down to will this final four deal, which has been there the whole time, yeah. between Rupert, Jenna, Robin, Amber, will that? Because because then at the end, it seems like it's a lock. You know, it's like well, they're just gonna try to pick each other off at that point. You know. Yeah, like what happens then is a tie, yeah. like a tie vote, and then yeah, all hell breaks loose. Or, or will, or will, Robin Amber take one of the two? 
Maybe yeah, just be like, same. yeah, we'll give you a chance. So it's you, know? you got if you view from every angle, it's really yeah. Like if you're Jenna, do you want to get to that position? If you're Rupert, do you want to be in that position? I don't know. Yeah, it's like, really it's it's tough. I feel like you want to take Tom here. You need to use him while he's use, here. Use Tom, yeah. Use Tom for sure. So it's juicy. We've got some juicy content to get to. So. Mm. So if you want to see the highlights of a reaction, you can click the link in the description and then come back here for the discussion, okay? Okay. That was there a wild adventure we just went on right episode there. Episode 15 of Survivor All-Stars Big Tom has been voted out. And, uh, wow, they didn't, they didn't really prep you for that one. That's, they really were gearing up for Jenna. Yeah. Who was the bottom of the... Did we were power rankings last time. Of my was... power rankings, but that was only because of how how annoyed everyone was. I, yeah. I figured Tom had a little bit more sway just because he was a uh, a swing boat. Well, yeah, we legitimately a swing sure, boat. You'd think for sure the one the one of the pairs would take him for the other pair, and that's how it seemed to be gearing up the whole time. Is that um, well, Rob's instigated this fight between him and Rupert so that they wouldn't band together. So then we would have Robin Amber take Tom and vote out one of those two. Yeah. And that's how it seemed to be going. But then they had this argument out of nowhere where I was like, so have you not been putting a mark on me this whole time? Yeah. Which, like, we haven't gotten any indication of Tom really doing that the whole time. No, no. He's kind of been playing along not, with Not them. really. Yeah. But I guess they really believed it that much that they were I, to- I mean, maybe... Again, there could be there could be more that you know we didn't see because of editing and stuff. It's, so it's possible that there had been some of that, but not nothing that we've necessarily been indicated. Mm-hmm. None of that really. N- none of what Tom was saying. None of what Rupert was saying. None of what Rob said about what Rupert was saying. I mean, other than they said that to cover them cover their butts when they found out that Rob was. But it just seems so. But I mean, uh, so okay. Rob played this really well, I think. You mean he won immunity? And I mean, he... ultimately, yes, he he ended up winning it for him. So, like, this is this is probably the best possible outcome for him. But like, he instigated... other than maybe having Tom. Well, he instigated the fight between uh, Tom and Rupert, which I thought was great because the last thing he needed was them for them to work together. That was their only way to to vote Amber or him out before that. He didn't know he had immunity, and yeah. then. Uh, so he did that, and Rupert played along with it, even though he seemed fully aware that Rob, this is a, something Rob was doing. He played along with it still and, and fought with Tom openly, and then they never, there was never any like private meeting about it or actually I was gonna be, together. So, so is that a willing, a willingly playing into it to try to beat him in his own game? Come down to the final four? Like, if he knew he was doing it and played into it, then he must have his own thought as to how to use it to his advantage, but how? This is this this he favors didn't want it to, to go to the final four with the final four he had maybe I don't know. But this but this clearly favors Boston Rob, who has been pretty dominant in most challenges. I mean, he's lost mm-hmm. he's lost a couple here or there, but like. Well, what do you think of the decision? Because either way, I feel like he set himself up to where he could perfectly make the decision if he wanted to go with Tom. Tom did vote for Jenna, so all they had to do was vote for Jenna. They could have had Jenna out instead. Yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting decision. Is it purely... I don't know, yeah. Because he knows that they're not... Like, Jenna and Rupert are the closest pair out there with another than them. So yes, if you have so... Tom and Rupert there at the end, you would think, oh, we'd be able to sway one of them to vote out the other more easily. Mm. But instead, he, vote, he votes out Tom here. I don't know if it's purely... Maybe it is just a moment of, like, Rob was paranoid or thought that Tom actually was targeting him, or if he really he thinks it is the best strategic move to get rid of Tom here. Yeah, any of those are possibilities, I think. Um, yeah, jeez, I don't know. It's. Do you think that's the best move I, he could have made there? I, I, I think... I mean, I think it's it's in the best interest of two possible I mean I don't know you kind of need it, it would be useful it would be useful you would think to go into the end with more numbers right rather than having a split two pairs yeah 
having a third on your side, even if you're just sort of stringing them along, that's going to be useful. But at the same time, you don't want to give Tom the opportunity to have, I don't know, because like if, uh, you think you think final final tribal, if it was between, for example, if it was between Rob and Tom, who's going to vote for Tom? Huh? Tom even admitted himself he hasn't really been playing the game. It you know, he's been coasting. We we're not in the heads of the jury. We did, we did see when Tom was voted out. He did a, Lex, he Lex did was the, shaking his head. Yeah, Lex and Alicia were both disgusted by it. I mean, if the if they but, really but hate they're just dis- but they're but they're disgusted by it for what, but what reason? Are they disgusted by it in the sense that like? that was a bad move or they discuss it by like Tom shouldn't be going home like we don't know we don't necessarily Lex, know that well all we knew is that Lex and Alicia when they got voted out they were both very mad at Rob the, do we the, know that we, we, we know saw that. them look disappointed but we don't necessarily we know that know because that they're, they're the last the last words they said when they left were that they were very mad at Rob and then we get this look so there's you can only right but in the fun they're mad at Rob sure but like tons of people are mad at the people the last two people very rarely i mean unless you're ethan or you're just like good guy ethan like very rarely are you friends or do you like the people that are the final two when you're the jury it's very rare so it's like so would you would you vote for tom because you just because you didn't like rob maybe no you would i mean mean, maybe they could yeah, one person voted for Clay. Three people voted for Clay. Four people voted for Brian. It was one vote. That it was the difference. It's, it was uh, Clay that's was rid- perhaps that, the that, most that's unlikable. Just, yeah, you know that's and, that's kind of ridiculous. But that was a whole that was a bad season. Anyway. But Lex, um, Lex was loves Tom. I mean, they're good friends. Alicia uh, was probably closest to Tom out there. Um, seemed i guess that's true so they I guess probably that's true. were rooting for him to to get there to do something yeah because they they give little hints that they want to see like they were happy when she and one immunity they're happy when anything happens that will upset the status quo you know but well yeah i'm sure they want rob to get voted out or or amber to get voted out but we're talking there's a there's there's leagues of difference between how they react during these tribal councils versus when it comes down to voting time. There's mm-hmm. huge amounts of difference. So it's it's I mean it's it's kind of a crapshoot either way, really. It's kind of a moot point, I guess. But mm-hmm. they're upset. They're going to be upset because Rob's getting his way, one way or another. Mm-hmm. Um. And that has yeah. continued to be the case for basically this entire season. And Tom feels betrayed by Rob now too, Rob and Amber. Yeah, he he's made he's made a lot of enemies along the way, that's for sure. But like here's the thing. If it comes down between Rob and Amber, if Amber wins, does Rob really lose mm-hmm. at the end of the day? Yeah. I mean think about think about it that way. You know, if they they seem to have they seem to have grander ambitions as a as a couple, you know, not necessarily that they're going to be like, oh, well, it doesn't matter who wins the billion because we're in love, so we'll mm-hmm. both get the million at that day. But in a sense, they will still, if you know, if they're if they're thinking about like, well, well, we'll see how things go. There's still a benefit to your significant other being a millionaire. Yeah, you know, whoever wins. So in that in that instance, playing the game as a couple you come into it with a at that point like if it's between the two of them Rob wins regardless in, <laughs> in a sense you know like even if it doesn't pan out I don't know what I don't know what their lives are like after this mm-hmm. um, other than I think I'm realizing I'm, I may have I may know something about due to amaz- having watched Amazing Race around this era Mm-hmm. I feel like Rob and Amber were a, were like a, a pair in a Amazing Race because I remember Boston Rob mm-hmm. said that that sounds super familiar to me and I think the reason why is I think he was on a season of Amazing Race mm-hmm. possibly with Amber I don't know I don't remember it was a while ago it was 15 years ago so um, 
but uh, but I mean, if that that's the case, they they at least together in that work. And as far as that, who knows if it, I don't know anything about their lives after this. So maybe that didn't pan out. I don't know. Who knows? Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, in, in essence, just Rob Rob kind of wins regardless. You know, so. But uh, I don't know. It's interesting. We're going into the final four. We have Rob, Amber. Rupert and Jenna. So, so we're looking at two so pairs. This this to me is it's it's really uh, this is this to me is Rupert and Jenna's blunder. I mean, I get that I get that Rupert right. was yeah. like playing into Tom, I guess, or playing into Rob, and he admits to the camera that he was. But it was like, okay, so you're just gonna play it out instead of trying to trying to mend bonds there. Yeah, it seems. Like yeah, did clear... he just? He, it just seemed like he just felt Tom's a lost cause at this point. Yeah, it seems like a clear opportunity they could have taken Tom, and then he would have had the only pair. It would have been him and Jenna, and then you'd have just Rob left. Yeah, tried to reason with Tom, saying like they're just gonna betray. They're just gonna turn their back on you. Like they've turned their back on literally everyone else in this tribe that's been voted out. Mm-hmm. But they they all like, I guess everyone there now thinks that they're part of the true alliance. You know. But that's yeah, yeah. But that's kind of. I think that's been the case with all of them to that's, a point, that's right? How Rob's been working the magic because he's been like, yeah, the thing that connects everybody together, and that's why everybody's like, <laughs> man, Rob stabbed me in the back after they get booted out because yeah. they don't. It's, they thought they were so close with him. Yeah, and it's hard to say. It's hard to say at this point still how the jury's going to vote because he's he's made a lot of enemies, but are they going to respect that the way he played the game, or are they going to be? Or is that is that the negativity going to outweigh the an appreciation for playing the game of Survivor? Yeah, as as connivingly as possible. I don't know. It's hard to yeah, say. You never really know. Like it's hard to yeah. have any intel on what the jury is thinking. You know, they give looks here and there, but I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna vote in alphabetical order. <laughs> was... No, we don't have that anymore. <laughs> That was garbage. <laughs> Stupid. Well, he, he voted people out of alphabetical order. He didn't vote for yeah, I know, I, I know, <laughs> I know. I'm I'm kidding, but uh, so, no. What was the, what was the one? It was like, who is your, who who? What political figure is your? <laughs> yeah, which one do you? Give me someone I can relate to. A political figure, the most inspires your game or something like that. Yeah, I wish uh, Dave in the Amazon. Yep. So I really like the way they did this episode where you don't really get the sense that Tom's going to get voted out. So that's why it's, yeah. it feels, you can feel the betrayal at the end. It and does, then yeah. I love, it feels the, really I love real. the look back, like the music the look, kind of gets like back chilling. Is so good. It was such a great moment. Yeah. It's like the music turns chilling. It's like boom. And then he just gives us a long stare. And then Rob's just like cheesing it up, looking back at him. And then he's yeah. the disgust from uh, Lex and Alicia, and it's like, wow, that's real. That's real stuff. So, uh, power rankings for the final four. <sighs> Rob, Amber, Rupert, Jenna. Mm-hmm. Look, I really think they could have uh, taken... I wonder if Rob didn't win immunity, if there was an opening there to convince Tom to vote out Rob, if like maybe it was a harder sell to vote out yeah. Amber and still have to deal with Rob afterwards, you know. Yeah, I feel like if you yeah, can that, vote out that Rob, changed, that's like that opens the ch- immunity. Um, would have changed the dynamic, I think, tremendously. I feel like Tom would have been more willing to make a move at that point, but yeah, Rob keeps conserving energy and winning. That word scramble, I mean, you, that energy, he yeah, he's all got the his brain, he brains needs for working. All these challenges. Jenna just, uh, not Jenna, but uh, Amber just fell asleep when she unlocked the whole puzzle. She just stopped, I guess she just stopped looking or something or stopped trying to unscramble it. Yeah, we didn't talk about it. Rob, Rob won a truck and then by proxy, Amber wins a car uh, because of yeah. Rob winning a truck. So it's like, and, he, and that was who he here. picked. That was who he picked to be in the, yeah, they're already a couple. They already found true love on Survivor. Now they're, now they're winning all these challenges. They've been running truck rewards. over the competition already. A truck and a sedan. It's just win, win, win for these two. But uh, it's it's a, it's crazy that they've gotten this far. Like being a clear couple. From the I beginning. know. 
I know. It's just like I can't believe. I mean, I guess they've they've really bought into to Rob so well that it's like splitting them up. Splitting them up would have been so tremendously good, but Lex brought them back together because of a promise that was bro- immediately broken. <laughs> Opportunities at seven, opportunities at five. You know they yeah. didn't take either of them. No. So got Robin Amber there, but now you got two pairs. So is it just going to be a roll of dice, like a tie? And then. Or like, is or do you think Rupert's going to try to like I'm going to ditch Jenna now? Yeah, Rupert seems that, like that's, he's that's been wanting thing, to. So because even you go into two pairs, you you have Robin Amber are clearly the strongest pair. They're not going to break anytime soon. Yeah. So you're already going in at a disadvantage. You're also the pair that's less likely to win immunity. Right. So do Robin Amber try to when they're when it comes to voting? Do Robin Amber try to convince Rupert or Jenna to turn on the other one? Well, ideally, Jenna, right? Because Rupert's more of a immunity threat for that final immunity. You think? You would think so. Yeah. So you want to get rid of it out Rupert? And maybe if it comes down to it, so if it's like if it's me or Jenna, who you voting for? Like if it's if it's Amber or Jenna, who do you vote for? That's that's a that's that's a weird that's a weird uh, a weird finale. But hey, you know it's gonna be it comes weird. down to something like that. But yeah, come back next week and we'll have probably three episodes all up in this week. Be good to good to do. It'll be we're we're looking forward to it. Uh, I'm looking forward to it because man, this has just been the beginning of the season was real rough and uh middle there's just lots of strategy and honestly like rob's game has just been fascinating to watch about how he's been able to just everything he was trying to do in marquesas and that this didn't work has worked splendidly so yeah, the perfectly. godfather he wanted to do that godfather the, the godfather's been working super well and i mean he's got he's got amber on his side and that's been like honestly it's been a cool it's been a cool sweet little little romance a love story, story yeah. but it's also been his greatest ally it's one of been one of his greatest strengths of this whole season well, yeah, it's interesting. Having, having her in his pocket he's, he's playing like a villain role of like someone yeah. who's willing to do whatever it takes but he's also like the hero of of the love story it's like yeah it's and she's weird. and she's uh and it's not like she's just passively taking it either it, it does seem like the, she is trying to like actively make a make a difference in it. I mean, she is a I, she's a passive role, but I, I don't think it's necessarily as like sitting around and not strategizing like Tom. Yeah, Tom. Uh, we kept saying like I'm not gonna. I want to be the idiot left out. Of, like he was all talked the whole time. Anybody talk? He talked to Kathy and Alicia about need to make a move on him, but then ultimately he does not. But he got duped. He was really gonna just stick it out with Robin Amber to the end, it seems. Yeah, it's like he didn't he didn't see the whole thing with when Alicia got voted out. Like I feel like it just makes so much more sense for everybody if they banded together against uh, and voted out Amber here. Because like, yeah, Rob could just win to the end, but at the least you'd have three versus one at that point. And yeah. if he doesn't win immunity, then he's gone. Yeah, but now it's like you're playing Rob's game at this point. He's yeah, he's he has a he has a definitive partner that we've all known about that literally everyone has known about the whole time. He's got the strongest pair. He's got the strongest chance of winning immunity, and uh, I just don't understand Rupert and Jenna's game here. I do, I really don't. It's it's baffling to me. <laughs> yeah. So, but we'll see. I mean, it really. A lot of like, the end game we talk about a lot of times comes down to immunity. It's like, yeah, even really good immunity, yeah, threats can just lose at the wrong well, time. Well, that's how and, Jenna Jenna Maraska won, right? All those immunity, yeah, just all those immunity she was, she just won. Like they were gonna, and then she won the whole more. freaking game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Rob, it's like he could lose. He could just lose immunity, and then maybe, but the only vote a tie like it'll only ever be a tie against rob yeah even if he doesn't yeah. immunity so then it'll go down to i don't know if a yeah, tie that's... in that scenario would be the purple rock because if it's if that's the case there's none yeah that's it would be the two people that weren't voted for at that point so then yeah. that encourages someone to flip so that they don't earn a 50 percent chance of being voted out by random mm. And so that's even more in Robin Amber's favor and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. It's wild. It's wild. All right. But well, we'll have to see how it pans out next week. 
it all comes to an end. It does. Zach, what should our fine watchers go check out from us after finishing this video? You should go watch um, What's Your Survivor Marquesas review. Okay. Yeah, check it out. What could have been? Rob's humble beginnings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, we have four different seasons represented here as Final Four. We got Marquesas, cool. Australian Outback, Pearl Islands, and Borneo. Those are some great seasons. Yeah, those are those are several really great seasons. In fact, I would say that's probably the cream of the crop right there, isn't it? What do we got? Well, yeah, we're we don't have Amazon. We don't have Amazon, Amazon, I guess. Yeah, we're missing Amazon. We got the the other Jenna. Yeah. Well, imagine if Jenna never left. Beggars can't be choosers. Jenna Maraska never left. The whole butterfly effect would be crazy. That'd be insane. Who knows what ripple. If, uh, you know, if uh, Richard Hatch hadn't been in Super Creeper, what, what would have happened, you know? Well, then Sue would be here. That's the only thing they would change. Yeah. yeah. But, um, well, would Sue still be here? She seemed like... Probably not, because yeah. she was on uh, Boston Rob's tribe. She would have been the next yeah. one off anyway. Yeah. Probably. Um, Maybe she just kept winning immunity the whole, the whole way. <laughs> Sue goes on an immunity <laughs> run. That's a, that's an epic immunity run. See. <laughs> Alright, so subscribe to the channel Subscribe to our podcast feed Like the video, leave a comment Hit the notification bell Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook Tarkaran T-W-O Alright